uh, put something in the box, and uh, then I look what's in the box. I don't know what's in the box ahead of time, and I try to figure out some sort of lesson that we can learn about God and his word from what's in the box. And we're glad to have visitors with us this morning. So let's see what's in our box this morning, which uh, the box was with Talia. But Mr. Scott, I think, picked something uh, for the box uh, because Talia is with her grandparents. And so we're, <laughs> this is a great one. So what we have in the box this morning is off. All right. This is Deep Woods Insect Repellent. I bet maybe some of you have been sprayed with something like this. And this has a smell and a taste that is supposed to keep the bugs away. And I always hate the smell of bug spray, too. It keeps me away as well. But sometimes, in order to be safe, uh, when we're out in the woods and there's a bunch of mosquitoes and ticks and things like that, we need to put this on our skin uh, so we don't catch some disease or get all eaten up by the mosquitoes. And you know what? I don't think the Bible talks about bug spray. But the Bible does talk about smell. And the Bible says that we as Christians, that we who believe and belong to Jesus, we're supposed to have a smell. But that smell is not supposed to keep people away. That smell is supposed to draw people to Jesus. And what the Bible is talking about is that how we act and how we talk, it wants us to show Jesus to the people around us. It wants us to show Jesus or people what Jesus is like so they could smell how good he is and so that they will come to believe and trust in him and worship him just like we do. And so let's pray that God would spray us with a smell that will draw people to him. That was a great sermon in a box. Would you take that back to Mr. Scott and give that back to Mr. Scott? And I'm also going to sing the...